Good morning, everybody. Today, I have some pear juice for breakfast. Cheers. I'm going to have something a little bit lighter for breakfast. I really want kaya toast and some soft boiled eggs. I'm gonna be taking it easy the next few days and just be a little bit more conscious about how much and what I'm eating. Yakke now and this is one of those like really iconic coffee shops in Malaysia and their famous is actually their chicken chop, their Swiss rolls, their roti babi which is quite bread but we're here for like coffee tiam style so just kaya toast and soft ball eggs for me. The kaya here is quite thick and chunky, it's not the smooth kind. And if you want to go roll, you dip your kaya toast in egg. when you're here and you can also buy rolls to take home as well. No one leaves without a box. Tail just has a lot of random places where they print beautiful murals. And who can see this is in like a random alleyway. And it's so good. It should be shared with the world. The biggest problem about going to Yakke is parking. The nightmare. We just park our car here. It seemed the cheapest. Good morning everybody! I think I've reached that stage in my trip where I'm just full all the time. I've pretty much satisfied all the cravings I had. I feel like when I come back to KL, I'm always super excited to eat. And like I'm just like nom 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 nom. And then after a few days, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've eaten so much. Anyways, in normal fashion, these are really delicious. It's like the perfect drink to start my day. And also I just drink it from the jug. When in doubt, eat chicken rice. <laughs> We're in Tamad Paramount now. I forgot to bring my hair clip, so I have to tuck my hair in my shirt. <laughs> it's the Malaysian way. Now we're heading to buy bitter slash sweet for some coffee. I have a really cute seating place outside, but I don't know who will sit there because it's way too hot. Inside, there's a really cute flower arrangement as well. And yeah, we're just gonna have coffee here. Wow, look at the flower wall. My mom just passed me this. <laughs> here, the wall is so beautiful. And a latte costs 11 ringgit, and an Americano costs 10 ringgit, which I think is pretty decent. Probably lower than some of the places I've been to. I also got one quarter of a panache. <laughs> Gotta save the calories. 
The one thing actually you should know when you're eating in Malaysia is that Malaysians have very, very particular tastes. So a lot of the times when you're looking at food reviews online, you either see five star or one star. So if you see lots of people saying that, oh my gosh, it's so amazing and it's really delicious, it's because they just like that style of food and then half the people just have their own preferences and they're like, it's one star, it's the worst thing, it's not good. And then it's really hard to pick a place because it's just like, is it good or is it bad? Because there are so many different cultures and so many different race, ethnicities, everyone's grown up with a slightly different way of cooking and also because there's a lot of fusion between all the different cultures, pretty much every home has a different way of making the same dish. So then when you go to the restaurants, if they don't make it the way that you're familiar with, it's gonna be like bad. But actually it's not bad, it's pretty good. So. Just bear that in mind when you're looking at food reviews online. Tales for some noodles today. Rizella got the OG, I got the emerald, and my dad got the laksa. So we'll show all them all to you. <laughs> Their tea is served in these small cups, and you can call for refills whenever you want. vegetable this is but it's really crunchy oh <laughs> wait a minute oh okay oh, wait a minute i guess not <laughs> maybe it's underneath oh there is sauce underneath like kind of beer raised pork belly and there's pesto noodles underneath with some mushrooms and pickled cucumber The pesto flavor is really light and refreshing rather than rich and like super savory. I quite like it because it's coating all the noodles. And the pork belly is really smoky as well because they torch the top of it. This is the OG noodles. Open up, it's the spot. Are we feeling good? <laughs> <laughs> We're at the spot right now for some coffee, and the owner used to own Chinaz and KLC Zoo, which was our go to spot when we were like 20 years ago literally 20 years ago. And they opened up a cafe in Bangsar, like right outside TMT. <laughs> it's such a random location, but like near Bangsar Village. There's literally like a spot oh. for coffee. I ordered a latte, and then we also got an on day on day cake. <laughs> now, onde onde is a dessert in Malaysia and it's usually a green color sticky pastry with brown sugar inside and it explodes but this one doesn't explode.
having some KBBQ for dinner today. We're at Bonga for some Korean barbecue today and they gave us so much banchan which is the best thing about eating Korean in Malaysia compared to the UK. We got prime rib and also hanjung sao which is pork neck and also a tendon jjigae which is a must have for KBBQ. Let's eat! Okay, try your galbi sao. Um, okay. Are you gonna make a wrap? No, I'm not really gonna have it for you. Thank you. I'll leave that to Eminem. Huh? I'm not really a rapper, I'll leave it to Eminem, whatever. Oh. Good. It's quite fatty, right? Is it fatty or is it... When you eat it, the texture is not really ah, fatty. So <laughs> you can eat it later, too hot. Wait, 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 wait,